In this video, let us see how to configure AD Cell Service Plus application for sending out password expression notification to all the users in your organization within a matter of minutes. So first of all, download the application and install it on, on your enrollment. It is totally free to use. There is no license required and uh, you have to log into the product. Once you, once, once you have installed, you will get a login screen like this. You have to log into the product with username admin and password as admin, which is the default password unless you have changed it manually. So once you have logged in, you know, go to domain settings and click on this will this application will automatically detect your domain name and it will also detect your domain controllers. Make sure that you now you have all the domain controllers added here. And uh, next go to configuration, go to password expression notification and click on add new notification. So this will have some uh, default text there. If you want to change this verbiage, you can change it. And uh, so here you have to select the domain. And uh, so in this domain, no, you can select the list of OUs or you can also uh, select the list of groups for which you want the notification to be triggered. This notification will be triggered only to their email address that is present on their AD account. Suppose if you want to list, if you want to restrict the notification only to a particular OU, you can select that OU alone and click OK and give a name for the scheduler and uh, the type of notification would be password notification type and you are going to notify via email so that those selection, those option is already selected and the notification frequency, how, how do you want to send the no notification? Do you want to send one email per day for the last seven days? You can go with the default settings or if you want to send no, uh, on specific days, you can choose this option where you will be triggered, uh, the users will be triggered one email on when their password is going to expire in seven days uh, and their password is when their password is going to expire in three days, one days and last day and so on. So you can select the frequency you want and click on save. This will trigger emails automatically based on the time that is scheduled here. So which means if you are going to select it as weekly, every Sunday at midnight at 12 o'clock, it will trigger an email. Or if you're going to select it daily, then it will trigger an email daily at midnight. You can also change this timing if you want to keep it like morning 7 o'clock so that, so that the users will get this as the most recent email on their inbox. You can select it accordingly and click save. So this will trigger email automatically and you can see the report after completed its, uh, its run, you will be able to see the report here. Hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.